Hello, Froggy here, and today we'll be getting outside of the box in Radio Sound by just launching into patrol. We'll be using another fallback box break, so you'll want Salvation Script and probably a sword and maybe grapple flying once we get out so that we can actually take a look around. I'm doing it solo, so I have some loadout set up to swap easily, but if you've got two, you don't need to do that. This is a, another one found by Avi, so thanks for that. This is the third fallback box break we've got, and the first that's accessible in regular patrol. So we're going to want to get the default spawn up here, so I'd recommend being low light and dying as soon as you hit the load zone. Is right around here. If you end up spawning somewhere along the hallway, you can block it with stasis or with a sparrow. Just gonna take a few steps back, and we're going to go with the same sort of pyramid pattern here two up top, three on the bottom. And then die, and I'm gonna swap my loadout back. And we are out. There's a solid surface right here, so you could just, like, stasis climb up this. But navigator flying is a lot faster, so that's what I'm going with here. There's a pretty short distance to get to somewhere you can set a spawn point. And now we're free to take a look around. Fallback box breaks are very easy to uh, get these days, especially with the rework to Salvation Script. Got a nice view up here. The box is in that direction, so you want to avoid that. Well, it looks like we've got solid on the inside of this container. But I guess not for this railing, which is weird, because the one next to it is solid. And so is the support connecting to the non-solid thing? I don't know, I feel with this out-of-box stuff, it's kind of a coin flip sometimes on if something's going to be solid or not. Anyways, since I swapped loadouts, I need to regen some sword ammo. And in case you haven't seen me do this before, you want to set to low max ammo when you're alive, and, well, I probably should have set my light to be low there to make that faster. And then, max ammo while you're dead, and you will slowly gain ammo. The more you have, the faster you'll gain. So, I would recommend trying to not get too far below 30. And with that out of the way, let's get going. There's a lot of walking without much interesting stuff going on, so I'm just gonna keep most of this going quite quickly. Before we head to that city in the background, let's check and see if these things are solid. Doesn't look like it, but might as well fly on over there. And turns out it is not. Just like we expected. But you can look at these things pretty closely. I'm a little too scared to go over to the left there, so let's go ahead and just fall here. That structure you can see under the map is where you would go for the time trial. But that's in box, and you don't need a break box to go to it. I'll give a link on how to get there in the description. Well, let's keep going in this direction. It kind of reminds me of the Dreaming City in that there's a whole lot of city in the background you don't normally get to explore. But just like in the Dreaming City, if you manage to break the box, it is quite interesting to take a look at. You can break the box in other zones in Neomuna. 
But the advantage here is that you can do it solo without having to use a campaign mission or do a sync box, which can be a bit annoying. Everything out in this direction is intangible. But if you do find something solid, let me know, because that would be highly unusual. A nice little turbine coming up. So, have you mentioned that you could kind of extend your jump a little bit by doing two short jumps and get an eager edge swing every time, so I'm giving that a bit of a try. Oh, this thing looks real interesting up close. <laughs> kind of trippy. Anyways, it kind of looks like this tunnel just sort of tapers out, which isn't too surprising given that you're never really going to see it this uh, up close unless you're doing some very silly things. Looks like we're about at the end of it. There's a whole lot more city to take a look at, but we've gotten kind of low, so we're going to have to do a little bit of strand grapple flying to get back up. It is kind of neat how you're just kind of pulling yourself along a line here. I'm activating my jump after I come out of the menu to just kind of hold the position. Technically you could be doing this in pretty much any direction and it should work just about as well. Spinning things kind of neat. Got a decent amount of detail on this background city. I don't want to use much more ammo because it's already getting kind of low. I'm just going to have to regen it all. So we'll see what I can fly by on a super. Gonna head over there next and maybe check out some of those pyramid ships. We. Oh, we get kind of a nice view of the, I guess, storms in the distance. Anywho, let's head over to Callus's ship. I had really wanted to, like, touch it during its flyby on the intro mission, but things didn't quite work out. Doesn't look like it's solid, but let's get an up-close view. Doing a bit of the other grapple flying. So I'm losing a bit of height. It's a little bit trickier than regular sword flying. I want to get a close up view of this big callous face. But you've seen how this strand flying goes, so let's just skip ahead a bit. So it looks like this eye thing is actually just a decal that makes it look like it's curved. Strange. You can see I kind of messed up with the grapple flying here, so I'm going to be losing some height. If that happens, I would recommend firing the shot down so that you'll still be in range of it by the time it gets there. And let's get to climbing. Once again, let's just skip ahead. Well, now I'm just about level with these pyramids. Let's see if they're solid. Doesn't look like that surface is. And I am very doubtful that any of these will be, but we won't know until we try. Ever since the rock incident in the Dreaming City, I'm not really sure of anything anymore. And 
sure enough intangible. I'm not going to fly into every single one of these, but it would be very strange if just one of them was solid. Though, I guess earlier we had a case of two identical things with one solid, but what are the odds that that happens again? Not really seeing any of this being solid, although although it did look kind of funny where those ports were coming from. Let me get another view of the Vex time trial area. Just doing a little bit more solids checking. There's plenty of other neat things to spot out here, but I'll leave that as an exercise for the viewer. Hopefully you have time to check it out and take a look more at those buildings in the background. Have a good time exploring.